Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be building an infinity mirror with just some addressable LED lights, an Arduino, a, a picture frame that I purchased at a Goodwill store for a few dollars, um, and combining that all together with um, some just simple Arduino code we'll be able to create this really unique kind of infinity mirror effect, which as you can see even though there's just one string of lights it seems like there's kind of this bottomless effect where you can just kind of look down into it. Um, and then combining that with the different uh, colors and the lights, it's, it can, creates a really amazing effect. All right, well, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe uh, before we go ahead and get right into the build. Okay. All right, first, um, as you can see, I have the uh, frame there, but you'll need a scoring knife to break the acrylic. You'll need window solution for the privacy film. You'll need privacy film, uh, the privacy film itself. You'll need, um, a, you know, some acrylic. As I mentioned, this one I've already, I've already cut using the score, scoring tool there. This is the frame. Um, you know, we'll take it off the back here, and you'll be able to see exactly the setup that we're going to use. Which is, we have um, right there. We're going to put a piece of acrylic on top of that, so that's going to be the bottom. Um, it's going to have privacy film. That's the piece right there. Once that piece is, you know, got privacy film and the piece of glass there has privacy film, that'll create the infinity mirror. All we'll need is the um, LED lights, which you can see here. This is a, a string of LED lights. Um, these are programmable, and we're going to use the Arduino um, to program and then uh, control them. So um, here's the Arduino. Uh, we have a 330 uh, ohm resistor uh, between the Arduino and the power source because uh, there's a little bit of a kickback there um, and then we have the power source itself now I also alternatively you could use you know you could have a regulated power source here um, depending on the voltage you know we need 12 volts but the um, but this also has you know up to two amps which is helpful if you have a long string of lights all right so let's go ahead and get started um, we're gonna go ahead and measure out and cut the privacy film giving ourselves a little bit of extra um, so that um, once we're done we're able to just cut it away All right, so we'll use the trick of a couple pieces of tape um, on the privacy film. This helps us separate it. And then we'll generously apply the uh, privacy film solution um, to the side that we're putting down and then as well as the um, on the acrylic. And then uh, you keep moving around a few times, as you can see here, until you get it right. And, you know, and then use the um, a tool to kind of uh, um, scrape out all of the liquid and kind of smooth it out. And then once you're done, just um, you know, flip it over and then just cut off all the excess privacy film that you have um, on the acrylic. All right, and then uh, once you wipe this off, you'll have a, a mirror that we, we can put at the bottom of the uh, picture frame. All right, now let's, uh, let's go ahead and clean the glass of the picture frame, measure it out. Cut a piece of um, privacy film a little bit extra so that we, we make sure we cover the whole surface and we can always cut it away with an exacto knife when we're done. Okay, same thing here, use the tape to separate it, generously apply the solution um, to both the glass and um, the film you know, the side that's going down, move it around, get rid of all the um, bubbles, you know, with your, your pick, and then go ahead and wipe it off. All right, now we're going to put the lights in there, but as you see, we're going to need some help with the power source, and we don't want the power source inside. So I'll go ahead and drill a hole over there in the corner um, so that we can put pull through the, um, the power cords so they're not actually um, in the mirror, which would kind of ruin the effect. So once we've taken a power drill and just go ahead and drill a, a hole in the side of the frame there, that'll fit the, um, the thing. And so now you can see it's fully completed here. We have the infinity mirror connected to the Arduino, um, powered through the, you know, the resistor and powered through with 12 volts, uh, about 700 milliamps, which is enough for there's about 40 uh, LEDs strung together here. And I'm using um, Fast LED, the Fast LED uh, library from Arduino, which... Um, uh, and there's a demo program that comes with it, and that's what's running right here. So you can see this effect is pretty cool. Um, it makes it seem that there's, it's kind of bottomless, <laughs> and 
and here you're in light, but once we turn the lights off as we're doing now, you'll be able to see that it's, it's even more uh, clear, you know, the infinity mirror effect. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, please uh, put a like, and uh, if you have any you know, comments, feel free to comment below, or any questions, or if there's anything you'd like me to also build, um, please put a comment below. I'm always interested in new ideas. Um, okay, and so go ahead and enjoy the rest of the, uh, the video.